I'm Dr. Gentry White. I'm a senior lecturer in the Mathemat School of Mathematical Sciences at QUT. I'm Guilherme Silva. I'm a second year PhD student here. Well, we ought to talk about what Overleaf is and what LaTeX is. So LaTeX, for students to use, is essentially a software that is, rather than being a word processor, it is a typesetting language which means it's a language for controlling with high degree of precision exactly what goes where on a page. And that could be text, it could be figures, and it could be equations, tables, whatever. For students entering in who a HDR degree in the sciences, you're going to have to write papers, and you're going to have to write scientific papers, and you're going to have to put sciencey stuff in there, like tables and figures and graphs, and lots of equations. And LaTeX is really the easiest way to do that. You can try and do some of that in Word, but it's much easier and faster to do it in LaTeX. Overleaf is essentially a web-based implementation of LaTeX. You can see your document compiled as a PDF as you go through it, and you can share the documents with your advisors and fellow students and co-authors. In fact, there's even a button where, in many cases for journals, you can submit your document to the journal directly from Overleaf which can save you a lot of problems. And I've had students who have absolutely no LaTeX experience whatsoever, and I can give them the Overleaf link and say, just ignore all the LaTeX commands, just look at the text, just edit the text like you would in a Word document, and you'll be fine. And you know they've been able to write chapters of a thesis and book chapters and so forth with me on that sort of thing. So it's yeah. pretty straightforward. And the learning curve is pretty fast, I think. Don't feel tempted to just open Word and studying writing because I can understand there might be a, a learning curve for LaTeX if you're not really familiar with it, but opening up a template and start, start writing. Then you can start changing the template after, but definitely it's going to save you a lot of time. The best thing about Overleaf is typing equations. Nothing matches having document the way you want it and that keeps like that forever because the main problem I had with Word was that whenever you typed something new it, everything just yeah. goes away yeah. yeah well and the other thing is of course if you have to put any kind of pictures in a document mm. Overleaf and, and LaTeX work a lot better for that than Word um, there's a lot more control about where things go if you have to make a table mm. any kind of charts Yep. Uh, the control is a lot better. If you want to do a, uh, a reference document with uh, a bibliography or reference list in it, automatic referencing mm -hmm. uh, is pretty pretty darn painless. Yes. Um, so for scientific writing, and actually uh, any sort of structured writing you want to do, uh, Overleaf is pretty hard to beat, I think. So as an example, I guess, uh, for a more, uh, I don't know, maybe a harder equation, if you would say, uh, let's have an integral uh, and that is from 0 to t of that x squared, d, mm -hmm. x, whatever. And you have this automatically there. If you do that in Word, I actually have Word open here. And you mm -hmm. create the equation type. Mm -hmm. You have to manually go and find Which whatever you want, you want when Word allows it. So you want and you an want that one, or do you want that one? Yeah, exactly. So, which is also a problem because that's not consistent. If you're yeah. writing a 100 pages document and you're typing sometimes this one or sometimes this one, that is going to look bad. And if you want to have consistent work in LaTeX, you don't really have to worry about it too much. This takes a long time because everything you have to use your pointer, you have to use your mouse. Uh, and LaTeX uh, don't don't really worry about that. So you just edit the code directly. So I think if you look on if you look on my screen, I have a page which is essentially nothing but big equations, and bold fonts and integrals and all sorts of crazy things. Doing that in Word would probably take me three or four days, um, and I would not have any hair left by that time uh, because I would be so. Frustrated, I think, would be the nice way of saying it at the end. The main thing for me with LaTeX is that the code is just a bunch of text. And you could even save that as a doc, 
uh, .txt file. Mm -hmm. And that is the nice thing about Overleaf, is having everything online. It's the same place, it's a web-based interface, it's the same LaTeX <coughs> engine, the same packages, everything compiling it, no matter where you are, how are you interfacing with it. Um, that, and of course, because Overleaf is web-based, mm. it means your documents are always with you, and they're always the right version. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, absolutely. That's, the, that's definitely the best about Overleaf, because you don't have to worry about installation yep. in your local machine. Or, which is a big yeah. problem in LaTeX. Oh. Yeah, or keeping up with, now which version of this document am I working on and do I have to email this back to so-and-so and they email me their updated version and we'll have to keep track of it all and yeah. end up with 16 copies by the end of it. But yeah. everything on the web on Overleaf in one place keeps track of it all. And you don't have to worry about installing packages or any of the fiddly bits about LaTeX that can make it such a difficult thing to use. Mm -hmm. um, it's just as easy as pressing the recompile button and creating and updating your document right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's awesome. We, and we can work on the same document at the same time, which is quite good. And I think it's the, it's the best to, to do that, to collaboratively work on the same document. And then, of course, there's also the nice chat feature where we can send each other messages. And we can look at file outlines as well on the side of this, keep track of everything. The other thing which is quite recent is the comments. So if you just you can just highlight any text and right. then click add comment, you can make a comment like that. Yeah, like I said, that's that's kind of the reasons why you want to use it. It just is gonna make it a lot easier for you to write neat looking, clean papers and communicate your ideas. Mm. Whether it's as part of a class assignment, or it's a paper you're submitting, or it's just communications with your advisor, or your co-authors, or collaborators otherwise. It's just a much cleaner interface. And like I said, having it all on the web, where you can share the documents and everyone work together, it just makes it a lot easier. Mm -hmm.